We're going to be going down to New York City's deepest, largest basement. Check. You're going to be calling your ass down nine flights of stairs. You'll live. Heads up. Right. What was such a shoot to kill secret? Right. Armed guards were down here. That if you came through that door, you were to be shot on sight. Right. There was a tremendous fear during the Second World War that fifth columnists, saboteurs, would make their way down here just with buckets of sand. By simply pouring sand into these rotary converters, they would have killed them by making a concrete block of glass. That is how hard, how hot these things were running. Not only would they kill the converters, they would have killed the direct power to all the trains. By killing the power to the trains, they would have killed 80% of the troop and war materiel movements in the Northeast. Nobody knew about this place, right? Adolf Hitler knew about this sub-basement. He knew about it because somebody who worked here expatriated back to Germany before the beginning of the war. Right, history lesson. The beginning of 1942, Hitler had a losing war on two fronts. He invaded Russia June of 41. By the winter, that's a disaster. Check. Also by the winter of 41, now America was in the war. Right? Good. In order to slow America's entry into the war, Adolf Hitler came up with this plan. He sent two submarines from Germany to the east coast of America where they surfaced on the banks of Amagansett on Long Island. Four Nazi saboteurs came out. They were seen in the middle of the night by a Coast Guardsman, but they disappeared into the black. Right, Coast Guardsman let the FBI know there are four Nazi espionage agents. That's great, but where were they? What was their mission? Unknown, right. They made a beeline into Grand Central Terminal because their mission was to get down here and to destroy these rotary converters. And they almost did, but they made one fatal mistake. They checked their luggage into our luggage check. Little did they know, because we were forewarned that there were enemy espionage agents around, we were checking everybody's luggage who checked their luggage into our luggage check. Check, check, right. So we knew that this luggage had to belong to the spies. Knew? Good. Now, great, we had their luggage. Where the hell are the spies? The FBI sat on that luggage day in and day out until they finally came back to get some money and materiel out of it to make their way down here. All of them were arrested, two of them were executed. The other two had their executions commuted by FDR because they spilled the beans on the whole operation. They were imprisoned, they were released in 1956. And who would know, who would think that to this day, this day, both of them, both of them are still alive and living in the U.S. collecting Medicare, good, right. Six million Jews are dead, 25 million Russians are dead. They're alive, doing great, fine.